Greetings RVers, Gary Bunzer here, the RV Doctor. Welcome to this informational video detailing the benefits of an incredible plumbing fitting that you can easily install in your RV. It replaces the conventional P-traps and at the same time eliminates those obnoxious sewer odors every RVer complains about, especially if you store your rig for part of the year. It's called the Hepbo Sanitary Waste Valve, not a P-trap, but a one-way valve that allows water to drain and once the water flow stops, it prohibits sewer odors from coming into the RV from the gray holding tanks. The number one complaint from RVers everywhere is obnoxious sewer odors inside the RV. The secret is the unique design of the internal membrane that fully closes shut when the water flow stops. It simply replaces the conventional P-trap under the sinks, shower, and if so equipped, the washing machine drain. And name one RVer who wouldn't like to have more storage space under those cabinets. So eliminate those low-hanging, space-robbing P-traps and obnoxious sewer odors forever. The typical gray water drainage system includes an assortment of ABS plastic fittings that include not only the P-trap, but elbows, T's, ABS piping, and a one-way check vent that aids in the draining of the sinks. This check vent, by the way, can fail in the open position, allowing a direct conduit for tank odors to permeate the living space inside your RV. With the Hepbo sanitary valve, there's no need for a check vent at all, which adds to the simplicity of the design and the space savings the Hepbo valve brings to your RV. Another advantage is that the Hepbo valve can be installed anywhere in the drainage system within six feet of the sink outlets, and it can be installed horizontally, vertically, or any angle in between in order to maximize the additional cubic inches you'll gain. There are two sizes available, inch and a quarter and inch and a half, so you'll need to determine what size P-traps you'll be replacing. The most common setups are inch and a quarter under the bathroom sinks and inch and a half for all the other fixtures. But to be sure, check yours. Supplied in a convenient kit, inside you'll find all the components to adapt the valve to the rest of the plumbing system. In some cases, a couple other parts may be necessary, but more on that later in this presentation. You'll notice molded ribs on the valve itself. When installing the valve in a horizontal orientation, these ribs must be positioned on the bottom side of the valve. Also, when installed horizontally, the supplied angled adapter must be used to ensure the correct drainage slope is maintained. You'll also notice the direction of flow is marked on the body of the valve. The arrow must point in the same direction as the flow of the wastewater in order for it to work. The internal membrane is visible inside the body of the valve. One end of the membrane is wide open and the other end is sealed tightly shut. As the draining water enters the valve, it forces open the membrane and it stays open until the water flow stops. Then the membrane closes and prevents any odors from coming back up from the holding tank. And it stays closed until more water enters the valve. Because of this unique design and the type of material used for the membrane, nothing can block the valve or keep the membrane open once the water has stopped flowing. Tests have proven that soaps, detergents, food particles, hair, even spaghetti noodles will never get caught in the membrane and allow sewer odors to enter the living portion of the RV. Perhaps one of the best features of the Hepbo sanitary valve, it eliminates all P-trap maintenance requirements. There's no need to top it off with water, plus it'll never clog up like a standard P-trap often does. One of the drawbacks of all P-traps, especially when installed in an RV, is that constant diligence is required at all times, plus extra measures must be taken during winterizing procedures. Here's why. A standard P-trap is the only thing in the system that keeps the holding tank odors from coming up inside the RV. The water lock created in the trap, however, must be maintained at all times. Unfortunately, we rarely use RVs as often as we do sink drains in a conventional home or an apartment. Therefore, it's quite common that the water in the P-trap can evaporate to the point the water lock is lost and vapors and odors are free to travel up and into the coach. Holding tanks have an inherent positive tank pressure that forces odors up and out of the tanks. Also, as RVs round corners on mountain roads, it's entirely possible to have the water siphoned out of the P-trap. 
And in some RVs that have the lavatory sink plumbed to the same black water holding tank as the toilet, the flushing action of the toilet can also cause the water lock to be eliminated. Plus, when HEPVO valves are installed, there is never a need for RV antifreeze for winterizing since no water is retained. No water, no risk of freeze up. With HEPVO sanitary valves, none of that is a concern ever. Simply install it and forget about it. Can it be any simpler than that? Even if you have a blockage further downstream and opt to use a drain cleaning chemical of some type, no precaution is necessary. But if you use a drain snake or other type of sharp edge drain equipment, please remove the HEPVO valve first, otherwise damage to the membrane will likely occur. Let's take a look at a couple of DIY installation techniques. Here's a typical kitchen sink drain system inside the cabinet. Notice how the two sinks drain into the P-trap, then the piping travels over to a sweep T that continues down towards the drainage system and ultimately to the holding tank. Installed on the upper end of the T, the now not needed anti-siphon check vent is mounted above the level of the horizontal trap arm. Remember, with the HEPVO valve, I can eliminate this low-hanging P-trap, the sweep T, the check vent, and just simply use a couple ABS fittings and a 90-degree elbow to connect to the rest of the drain piping system. To gain the most usable space, I'll install this HEPVO in a vertical orientation. Evaluate your existing drain setup to determine if other fittings might be needed. It still must be accessible, but installed vertically, it will provide more space under this cabinet. ABS pipe is easily cut with a common hacksaw, but always practice correct tool safety. Be sure to remove any and all plastic burrs left over from cutting through the ABS pipe. Using the ABS adapters, the HEPVO valve is simply installed within the vertical run of the existing drain. But the P-trap, sweep T, anti-siphon trap vent device have all been eliminated, creating more cubic inches for your stored goods. Here under the lavatory, I have a little bit more room to install the HEPVO horizontally. It's nice this manufacturer actually located the drain plumbing over in the corner, but it'll be a little more difficult to cut out the sweep T this close to the cabinetry. First, I'll temporarily move these hot and cold fresh water lines out of the way. Then I'll use a straight blade hacksaw to carefully cut through the ABS pipe. I'll ultimately mount the HEPVO valve in this orientation. The only additional parts I'll need here are an inexpensive ABS female adapter and a 90 degree elbow to replace the sweep tee. I'll use the straight and elbow adapters from the kit since this will be a horizontal installation. Plus I've threaded a female ABS adapter onto the outlet end of the valve along with some Teflon tape. A short run of ABS pipe gets us over to the corner where we make the 90 degree turn towards the holding tank. Next, slide the cap nut and the seal onto the drain tube and insert the tube end fully into the socket on the adapter. Tighten the cap nut making sure it does not begin to cross thread. Hand tight should be sufficient in most applications. After making my cuts, deburring the ends of the pipe and being careful to mount the new valve with the ribs on the bottom side, the installation is complete. No more sewer odors coming up from the holding tanks. Though I feel these installations are relatively simple for any RV handy person, if you don't feel comfortable installing the HEPVO valves, simply call your local RV service facility. They'll be more than happy to install them for you for a nominal fee. Thanks to the HEPVO valves, you can now enjoy odorless RVing and confidence, plus gain a little more room under each sink. If you're a serious RVer and you know who you are, you owe it to yourself to check out the HEPVO sanitary valves. Thanks for watching. Manufactured to the highest quality standards by Europe's largest high volume producer of plastic pipes and fittings, who have been supplying HEPVO for over 15 years in Europe and Australia, and in the US already have a five year history supplying HEPVO to the RV industry, available at the manufacturing level and in the RV aftermarket.